Good evening or good morning if you are on the other side of the planet. Can you hear me, please? If you can, please uh, chat. I'm going to try to share my screen at this time. Could you please let me know if you see the slideshow? Thank you for that. And for the rest of you, could you please let me know if you see the slideshow at this time? Thank you. <clears throat> Great. Appreciate it. Uh, it's now 5.59 Pacific Daylight time. Uh, I'm going to wait until about 6.05 before I start, just in case some folks are a little bit uh, late. And can you also give me a quick confirmation you can see the slideshow with no obstructions because I have obviously have my chat window open and everything. Thank you. Great. <coughs> Excuse me. not as used to Zoom as uh, I, I would like, so you'll have to bear with me, but I'm glad that you can see the slide and you can hear me perfectly fine. Appreciate that. It seems like it, we have everyone, so I might start a little bit early. So I'll start in about one minute just to see if the last folks will show up. Great, so uh, I am getting ready to go. Uh, if anybody has any questions, please just type it into the chat. But welcome to today's seminar, webinar on BioVisions Protein Products. Uh, my name is Ken Lung. I am the new product manager for BioVisions Proteins and Antibodies Portfolio. So thank you for joining me as I outline some of the examples of BioVisions best-selling protein products and support tools and how these products can help your customers in their research development and diagnostic work.
So most of you are familiar with BioVision, but for those of you who are not, BioVision Incorporated is a life science company headquartered in the San Francisco Bay Area in California, specifically Milpitas, which if you care, is just southeast of San Francisco on the other side of the Bay. BioVision's mission is to provide innovative, high quality and affordable reagents and research tools to aid and accelerate drug discovery in disease related areas and to support diverse fields in biological research. You can see in the uh, panel to the right, a few of the research areas that are covered by BioVision's products. And these are also on the front page of our website at biovision.com. I'll cover a few of the more popular fields in this webinar. I'm going to ask that you use the chat to enter any questions you might have, and I will answer them during the Q&A portion towards the end. But the plan right now is to go through the entire presentation and then answer your questions at the end. Everybody can still hear me fine? So biology is one of my passions, and that's why I work for this company. Biology is studied at multiple levels from biological molecules all the way up to the organismal level, plus, you know, ecological effects of the interactions between different organisms within the ecosystem. BioVision offers many different categories of products to accommodate the study of biology at all levels. We offer assay kits, for which we are probably the most famous, ELISA kits, biochemicals, including small molecule inhibitors, antibodies, proteins, and laboratory accessories, including consumables such as centrifuge tubes and microplates. BioVision's flexibility allows us to cater to all customers, from scientists and researchers working at the academic and research institutions, to similar researchers working at pharmaceutical companies and uh, biological equipment companies, doctors support staff doing diagnostics at hospitals and other medical facilities. Because today's webinar deals mostly with proteins and supporting tools, we will be focusing on the biology from the cell level upwards. So BioVision offers an expansive portfolio of proteins and laboratory accessories to accommodate the study of cell biology, physiology, and many other aspects of biological science. As the focus of this webinar, the, bio, the laboratory accessories and other tools mentioned today will directly aid the researcher in the isolation or extraction of proteins and the ability to manipulate and characterize their chosen protein target for many different biological samples, whether it is from a microorganism or a mammalian species. So as you can tell, proteins are fundamental to the study of biology. They are very important for dissecting the signaling pathways and enzymatic reactions that affect all aspects of life. So for example, if you're studying uh, individual cells or tissues in cell culture, one can study the proteins involved in cellular proliferation, the cell cycle, the ability of the cell to move and invade tissues given the overexpression or removal of a key factor, the effect of cytokines, hormones, and other growth factors uh, in the modulation of various cellular functions, and also how a cell might modulate the activity of any given enzyme depending on physiological conditions. When you start studying proteins at the organismal level, uh, proteins can provide insight on cancer models, the host inflammatory response, and the performance of the host's uh, immune system, and also how they might affect various phenotypes and behaviors exhibited by the organism. Because most drug therapies involve some kind of antibody, a protein, or a factor or reagent that modulates the activity of a protein, much of biology is necessarily focused on the study of proteins, protein-protein interactions, and enzymatic activity. As you saw earlier, BioVision is pleased to provide protein-based and protein-adjacent products to improve the customer study of cancer biology immunology, neurobiology, stem cell research, metabolism, epigenetics, and so much more. Today, I am excited to show you many of the products that will hopefully enhance your customer's experience in achieving their research and development goals. So I wanted to give you a general overview of today's webinar. Uh, I will first outline the vast selection of proteins in the BioVision catalog. We're not going to go over every single one, but I wanted to just highlight some of the, the top sellers that we have 
well, and some of the most popular proteins. These include animal origin free proteins or human cell express line, native proteins and various research areas that BioVision supports using not just protein products, but also our antibodies and assay kits, et cetera. I will then talk about tools that allow the customer to extract, isolate, and purify their own protein targets. These include cell fractionation tools that allow the enrichment of various organelles and cellular compartments, protein purification tools, including lysis buffers and detergents, protease and phosphatase inhibitors, purification resins, and our protein A, G, and L products to work with antibodies. And finally, I will talk about our research support tools, including tools to help with dialysis, buffer exchange, and other applications, which also feeds into their usage in BioVision's numerous assay kits. So BioVision's portfolio, we have a protein portfolio of over 1,800 recombinant and native proteins. These proteins are derived from many different sources and species ranging from human and non-human primates to rodents such as mouse and rat, rabbits, bovine or cow, and various microbial species as well as viruses such as dengue, Ebola, and obviously SARS-CoV-2, which is causing the COVID-19 that's rattling our world for the past year plus. The proteins in BioVision's catalog are expressed in and isolated from many different sources, including E. coli, most of which are animal-free origin proteins if they are expressed in E. coli, insect cells using the baculovirus system, and also mammalian cells such as HEC293 and Chinese hamster ovary or CHO cells. BioVision's native ca protein catalog consists of proteins isolated from their host organisms and tissues with no denaturing methods and source tissues include plasma, urine, brain, and more. They could be uh, isolated from human, from cow, from pig, from any native species. Proteins are available in our catalog without tags or with protein tags such as his tag, GST tag, and FC tag to facilitate uh, you know, uh, infinity binding and pull down assays. We also have a growing line of biotinylated proteins for your perusal. Our proteins are tested for purity and activity and are available in flexible sizes depending on the customer's needs. So BioVision's protein products can be used for multiple applications, including but not limited to protein-protein interaction studies, such as GST pull-down assays and immunoprecipitation, proteins nucleic acid interaction studies, which involve chromatin immunoprecipitation or CHIP and CHIP sequencing, we can use them for functional analysis by direct treatment of cells or substrates with the purified protein. You can use the purified protein products for structural biology studies. You can use them for controls uh, for Western blotting, ELISA, assay development, and more. And also subcellular localization studies, which can be aided by our fluorescent protein products. BioVision also offers uh, reagents and tools to supplement the study of proteins. So our first category is the animal origin free or AOF proteins. Uh, I will begin with these. What they are mass produced in E. coli using dedicated fermenters that have been guaranteed isolated from any animal products or any products derived from animals. The protein is guaranteed to be free from the aforementioned animal products for the duration of the expression and production process. And the stringent methodologies and conditions for BioVision's AOF proteins are designed to eliminate the risk of contamination from animal proteins and to ensure that our AOF products will have low endotoxin levels. BioVision has over 400 protein products that are classified as AOF. These proteins represent gene products of both human and non-human species. Uh, some examples are best sellers include, uh, for example, catalog number 7580, which is the active cathepsin B, uh, this is a lysosomal protein linked to apoptosis and cancer. We have catalog number 1084, which is the active human caspase 4. And I just want to put that to note that MyoVision is well known for our caspase products, which we will discuss in more detail a bit later. We'll also go over our matrix metalloproteinase products, such as the 7789 MMP9. I have catalog number 4327, 4328, and 1052, just to illustrate that, again, that our protein products come from many different species to accommodate diverse research needs. 
These particular products are growth factors that can elicit responses in target cells, including cellular proliferation. And finally, 7698 is BioVision's active CERT2 and 2, a histone deacetylase that is used for epigenetics research. So you see from our products that we have a lot of diverse fields already, and we have just barely scratched the surface. This is our human cell express line. Uh, you'll see them marked in our catalogs as human cell exp with a TM. Uh, and the reason why we provide these is that be, while E. coli and yeast expression systems are very robust and convenient and produce a lot of proteins, many researchers may prefer a protein that is more representative of a native human protein, as in that it's properly folded with the same or similar post-translational modifications, including phosphorylation, glycosylation, what have you, uh, something that you would expect from a mammalian or human gene product. Expression in human cell lines such as HEC-293 allows for better stability, solubility, and the customer's desired formulation. And these proteins are more likely to represent the normal biological function of the protein in its native physiological conditions. BioVision has over 500 unique protein products in our human cell express line. They are expressed in and purified from human cell lines. The human cell express proteins come from various species and the majority of the products are regularly tested to ensure that they are biologically active. So some of our best sellers include P1183, which is a CD3 epsilon and CD3 delta heterodimer. It's used for therapeutic uh, antibody development as well as structural biology and immunology signaling studies. We also carry several growth factors and cytokines that are expressed from human cells. This includes IL-1 beta, which is catalog number 6460, FGF2 or fibroblast growth factor uh, two, it's catalog number 6448, and IL-2, which is catalog number 6461. All of these are capable of inducing cellular responses upon treatment of target cells of interest. And if you read our data sheet, we'll it'll tell you exactly how those uh, assays were performed and what uh, cell types they are have been tested in and should work in as a positive control. We also have active enzymes such as catalog number 7233, which is the human gramzyme B. One of our most popular items is catalog number 7246 the human matrix metalloproteinase or MMP9, which can be used in MMP activity assays as well as studies of extracellular matrix biology. Relatedly, we also carry 7449, the decrin protein, which is a component of connective tissue and may have a role in matrix assembly. Uh, this again only represents a small fraction of the 500 unique proteins that we have in the human cell express line. As for native protein products, in some cases, researchers may prefer a protein that is in their native form, as in it's naturally and properly folded, it's fully functional, not altered by any denaturing agents during the isolation and extraction process from the host organism. And it definitely comes from the host organism, which means it has the glycosylation, phosphorylation, et cetera, all the photosensational modifications that you would expect. So because of this, the native protein often serves as a superior antigen for generating more effective antibodies, uh, better ELISA control, and so forth. Um, <clears throat> BioVision offers over 160 native protein products from species ranging from microorganisms all the way up to mammals, including humans. As you can see from some of the product names, many of these native proteins retain their biological activity, which is tested during quality control. So among the most popular products that we have in the native protein line, we have the apolipoprotein products, including catalog number 7284 and 4930. These are involved in the transport of lipids. 7290 is proteinase 3, which is a neutrophil protease that promotes neutrophil migration across endothelial uh, layers. The Proteinase 3 can actually be inhibited by the 7294 alpha 1 antitrypsin, which also protects the respiratory tract from elastase. 7291 is calmodulin, which is a ubiquitous calcium binding protein derived from bovine brain tissue that can affect many cellular functions. 
We also carry various products purified from serum involved in the coagulation cascade, such as the active thrombin from a bovine plasma source catalog number 7592. The 4096 seroloplasmin has been associated with various diseases and can serve as a biomarker for cardiovascular diseases and potentially, reportedly, some cancer types. Our customers are also highly interested in our line of NATO complements. They are derived from human plasma sources. They include the four at the bottom from P1742. Oops. That, yes, 1742, P1271, 1272, and P1273. These represent different components of the classical complement pathway. And I'm just telling you all of this because this uh, represents several of the reasons why customers come to our, us for products because of the diversity of and the breadth of research fields that we can cover. So at this point, we are going to move into the various research areas for which BioVision is known for providing quality products for. Our first research area is apoptosis, which is the study of controlled cell death as it pertains to normal development in cancer. The regulation of apoptosis is involved in many human diseases, including cancer, autoimmunity, and neurodegenerative disorders. BioVision supports the study of apoptotic pathways and mechanisms with our active cascade enzymes, and also our Nexin 5 products to visualize the onset and progression of apoptosis. Our most popular caspase product is catalog number 1081, human caspase 1, but of course we also have the other caspases as well. We also carry unlabeled Annexin 5, catalog number 1005. We also have labeled versions of Annexin 5, including the Sci 5 labeled reagent, catalog number 1013. And the reason why they, we can do this in different labels is because different customers have different equipment and experimental needs. Uh, so we provide different fluorophores. Uh, besides Sci-5, we have Fitzy, we have, uh, I think, PE3. We have a bunch of different fluorophores conjugated to Nexon 5. So if you have any questions, you are more than welcome to contact us for more information. As for our caspase products, we have active proteins for caspase 1 through 10, as well as the substrates and antibodies and assay kits to measure their abundance activity in many tissue types, experimental contexts. Another area that's always popular and is even more gaining more traction for numerous reasons is immunology, as the, immuno, uh, the immune system is critical in our host defenses against foreign antigens, as a target area for our study in autoimmune diseases, and also as a tool to fight cancer with the advent of tumor immunology and, and uh, biosimilar antibodies that are used to fight uh, cancer cells, selectively target cancer cells. So BioVision has many protein products that are capable of binding to immune receptors, cytokines that can stimulate and modulate the immune inflammatory responses, and also proteins involved in both innate and adaptive immunity. Here we highlight one of our most popular proteins, uh, catalog number 4995, A and B. The A is the histag version, and the B is the untagged version of complement component C5A. So a lot of scientists who enjoy studying the innate immune response and the complement pathway seem to gravitate towards these products. We also include the MARX-1 proteins here. Uh, this is catalog number 4823 for the human version and 4824 for the mouse to illustrate an antigen that is recognized by T cells when they react against melanomas, which is a skin cancer cell. 7307 is an interesting protein called pentraxin-3, which is secreted by different cell types as sites of inflammation to regulate the innate resistance to pathogens. Our 4935 product is LBP, which stands for liposaccharide, lipopolysaccharide binding protein. Uh, that's part of the immune, res immune response against gram-negative bacteria. Our 7328 is the SFTPD or surfactant protein D, which is also a part of the innate uh, immune system and protects the lungs from pathogens. And I wanted to also highlight the P1038, which is the programmed death protein or PD1, which acts as a 
negative regulator of T cells and as a target for various cancer therapies. Uh, a lot of our customers seem to use this to either modulate T cell activity in vitro or they use it as an ELISA standard. So most of the products that I show you here are for the innate immune system, but of course we have plenty of products for uh, B cells and T cells, natural killer cells uh, study as well. One of our more popular research areas is in metabolism as customers are interested in nutrition, obesity, and diabetes, and also the role that metabolism plays in immunity, cancer progression, and the circadian rhythm. BioVision offers an assortment of protein products that associate with fatty acids and cholesterol and also modulate the physiological responses to metabolic signals, including in the maintenance and disruption of the circadian rhythm. You see highlighted uh, several of our apolipoprotein products or APO. Uh, this catalog number 4696, 4699, and 4760. These are proteins that bind to lipids and we also have our human adipotin, which is 4901. This is involved in energy, homeostasis, and obesity. 4693 is another APO protein. This is APO A1. This also binds and solubilizes lipids and particularly free cholesterol. This is used by customers who are interested in studying cardiovascular diseases. The 4504 is a FABP, which is a fatty acid binding protein. It's useful for the study of fatty acid metabolic pathways. We also have the visfatin proteins, uh, you see 4908, which is the mouse version, and 4907, which is from human. Uh, these are also known as NAMPT or the nicotinamide phosphoribosyl transferase. These proteins are implicated in metabolism, responses to stress, aging, and the regulation of the circadian rhythm through clock and BML1 transcriptional mechanisms. And the last one on the list, we offer the 4559, it's called resistin. This is a protein secreted by adipocytes and has been linked to insulin uh, signaling, insulin effects, but a lot about it is still unknown, but customers still like this protein and we provide it for researchers who want to study res resistance links to metabolic pathways. We also provide numerous cytokines, hormones, and growth factors uh, that can target multiple different cell types. Uh, and many different pathways. Uh, you saw this already with some of the products in our human cell express line, but some of our most popular protein products are classified as such as cytokines, growth factors, and hormones. So these highly pure and active proteins are important to customers who want to study how cells react to external, external stimuli and to measure responses such as growth, differentiation, differentiation and chemotaxis. So you can literally sprinkle some of these growth factors into your tissue culture and measure uh, cell growth, uh, whether a cell can turn from, you know, a hematopoietic stem cell into a dendritic cell or a leukocyte, and things like that. Customers can use our cytokines, growth factors, and hormones to directly stimulate their target cells of interest or as ELISA or assay standards, among other applications. BioVision carries many diverse protein factors that are involved in different signaling pathways, including WIMS and beta-catenin pathway, uh, pathways linked to receptor tyrosine kinases, NOTCH, and a lot more. You see here in my chart some of our most popular growth factors. That includes the GDF15, which is catalog number 4569. This is a biomarker for heart disease. You see FGF2 again. Uh, this is a different one. This is uh, 4037. So this is the animal free, animal origin free version expressing E. coli. This is elicit many growth and developmental responses in a variety of target cells. Epidermal growth factor, which is catalog number 44022. This is involved in wound healing among other functions. And also we have 4675, which is a knock-in factor that actually inhibits TGF beta signaling. So you can actually tell your customers all about these growth factors and how they are applicable in many lines of research and dependent on what they have. So you can always contact us if you need suggestions for interesting uh, proteins that your customers might want to use. Uh, we mentioned previously that our vast majority of our protein products have some biological activity 
And this, of course, includes enzymes. So we have many active enzymes that are protein catalysts that function in digestion, DNA replication, and various biosynthetic pathways. So BioVision's active enzyme products can be used for studying enzyme kinetics, to perform experimental biochemistry, and for assay development. We have a variety of proteases, and that includes catalog number 7867, our active human MMP9. So you see it, MMP9 yet again. Uh, a lot of our customers enjoy just using MMP9, whether it's from Human Cell Express, or in this case, the MMP9 here is Express from E. coli. This is an enzyme that is important as it is associated with tumor metastasis. So a lot of cancer researchers will actually uh, gravitate towards this enzyme. I did mention that some of our products are involved in DNA replication and that kind of leads into our molecular biology product line. Perhaps your customer wants to basically manipulate their favorite target gene with a mutation or fuse a tag to it like FLAG or HIS to facilitate purification or pull down assays. And to do this, BioVision provides a wide selection of nucleases, polymerases, and other nucle nucleic acid manipulating enzymes for all their needs. So we have various products like our catalog number 7680, which is the benzenase. We use it to get rid of the nucleic acid portion of an extract with customers interested in purifying proteins. You also see that we have uh, polymerases such as the 9003 PFU. And we also have reverse transcriptase such as M1174, which is Novo RT. And we have various products that aid your customer in performing PCR and RT PCR experiments and using PCR to generate mutag mutagenesis, etc. We also provide M1228, which is RNAs R. Uh, this is a uh, kind of popular for our customers. So we selectively removes most RNA while extracting DNA. And for some researchers, some of our customers who are interested in studying alternative splicing, uh, this RNA is preferentially cleaves linear RNA and leaves circular RNA. And that circular RNA usually represents splice products from introns and exons. Our most popular product by far, and you might have uh, asked for quotes from us in the past, this is our proteinase K line. And this comes in multiple different grades and in various solid and solution forms. So the proteinase K is just a general, general uh, protein uh, pro protease enzyme that cuts up all the protein and leaves the DNA for DNA extraction. And um, please uh, contact us for bulk quotes if you or your customers need large quantities of this proteinase K. Another general product line that BioVision provides is our albumin products from either human or bovine sources. Albumins are useful as blocking agents in Western blots and ELISAs. Albumins are also used as carrier proteins to stabilize other protein products during storage at low temperatures. For customers interested in assay development or production of protein standards, albumins are a very good choice. So we have both bovine serum albumin and the 4016 human serum albumin. Finally, customers who are interested in producing antibodies can use albumins as a carrier protein or as an adjuvant in stimulating the immune response to the host animal. So we have catalog number 2221. This is a AGE BSA. And this is an interesting product uh, that a lot of customers like because it's useful in models to study the biochemistry of advanced glycation and products and that's where AGE comes from. We also have M1316, which is malleamide uh, activated BSA. You can actually use this BSA as an adjuvant. You can covalent bond your antigenic peptide, your custom antigenic peptide to this and inject it into your host animal of choice for antibody production. Fluorescent proteins are also one of our big sellers. Uh, fluorescent proteins are useful for fluorescence microscopy experiments, both in vitro and in vivo, with interaction and localization studies among their primary uh, applications. Our purified, highly photostable fluorescent proteins can also be used to conjugate to other proteins uh, so that you can see them under fluorescence microscopy for like co-localization and other uh, ex experiments using a fluorescence microscope. 
We have fluorescence proteins that have different excitation emission wavelengths. And depending on the customer's available equipment, uh, they would choose the proper uh, floor for fluorescent protein for their application. So if you want a full list, you, you can definitely contact us. But I just wanted to highlight our three most popular fluorescent proteins, including the enhanced GFP, which is the 4999. We also have M-Cherry and DS-Red. And we, of course, we have a uh, yellow fluorescent protein, cyan fluorescent protein, and so forth. So uh, our lives have been turned upside down over the past year plus. Uh, many of us have experienced to some extent the SARS-CoV-2 global pandemic has really messed up our lives. Uh, global economic and health systems are disrupted. And this is over the past year plus. So we've seen many new discoveries for antibody-based treatments against COVID, as well as numerous articles on the mechanisms of transmission, cell entry, and virulence. So since SARS-CoV-2 is not going away anytime soon, and we keep seeing new uh, new variants like Delta and Lambda and whatever your favorite Greek letter is, we will continue to see resources being poured into combating this virus. And Spryovision is proud to offer recombinant protein products that represent the various products from SARS-CoV-2, uh, both from the genome glycoprotein as a whole, it includes the S1 spike protein that everybody's probably heard about, uh, where most of the mutations occur, the receptor binding domain that facilitates viral entry of the host cells through ACE2. And uh, we've also generated various mutant proteins that represent the most prevalent circulating variants. Uh, we have single mutants, and we also have multiple mutants. So you will notice that these are part of the human cell express line because BioVision thought that it would be best if the recombinant protein was processed by the putative human host cell in the same way as a SARS-CoV-2 proteins would be processed in a human COVID patient after infection. So we see, see in P1330, uh, 1532, we have the original wild type spike protein uh, with histag form. We also have P1524, which is the same spike protein, but now untagged. And we have the receptor binding domain, which is P1543. And I already told you that we have a lot of host, uh, we have a lot of human, uh, mutant proteins such as N501Y. And we also have some double and triple mutants of the uh, spike protein and the RBD. One of our more popular products also is the control lysates. And these are used to basically provide confirmation that an antibody that your customer has purchased or an assay that they, they're running is working properly. So BioVision provides these control lysates from a variety of different cell lines, including HeLa and Jerkit, which is illustrated here uh, as the 1641 HeLa nuclear extract. So this is just from the nucleus and not the cytosolic fraction. And we also have 1107, which is Jerkit cells uh, induced with camphenthesin. Control lysates can be used to validate Western blots to serve as a baseline for an uninduced versus an induced cell that the customer can then use as a reference in their own experimental manipulations. So please contact us or peruse our catalog to look for your customer's cell of choice, uh, whether it's an uninduced or an induced uh, and so forth. With over 1,800 unique protein products, we at BioVision can already cater to many diverse needs of our customers and many different fields of interest. Uh, we have, for example, the P1192 tau protein. This can be used in Alzheimer's research along with the uh, 7677 core histones that were isolated from HeLa cells. If customers want to isolate core histones for themselves from their favorite uh, mammalian target cell line, they can use K234. Uh, if you or any of your customers are ever interested in a target protein and we don't carry it yet, or perhaps even a tagged version of an existing protein that is in our catalog, please let us know. And uh, specifically, please let me know so I can uh, ask the scientists if it's feasible, we will work on producing it for your use. So we are dedicated to accommodating and supporting research wherever possible in a we really appreciate your suggestions and feedback.
So that was just our protein products, our recombinant and native proteins. And while we do offer many recombinant and native proteins, sometimes researchers might want to just purify their own protein, uh, isolate and enrich their own proteins from different cellular fractions and so forth for subsequent study. In this case, uh, BioVision offers many tools to allow the individualized extraction of proteins. So our most common tool is the catalog number 1998 Downs Tissue Homogenizer. We recommend this almost universally in the preparation of extracts for use in our assay kits. So if you've ever uh, seen our assay kits or talked to us via tech support, uh, that's basically our universal way to uh, provide extracts for use in our assay kits. We also offer the catalog number 8002 Easy Lice Tissue Protein Extraction Agent. This is for total extraction of proteins from animal tissue samples prior to use in Western blots, assays, and so forth, uh, many different applications. And you see in the box, we'll talk about this in a moment, but BioVision also offers many different lysis buffers to accommodate many research needs, depending on your customer's cell type, their tissue type, et cetera. And again, we'll discuss this at a later slide. So some of our most uh, popular kits, and these have been used in many published, uh, published journal articles, scientific peer reviewed articles, is ways to isolate proteins, target proteins of interest from cellular compartments. So in many cases, BioVision's customers want to study the subcellular localization of proteins or just enrich a protein pool from a specific part or organelle of the cell. Here on our first slide, we want to offer you K270, which is the fraction prep cell fractionation kit. This is an all-in-one extraction protocol. It's designed to separate the cytosolic, nuclear, membrane, and cytoskeletal fractions from a single sample using a, a tiered stepwise protocol. So this protocol is very quick and simple, does not require any special equipment like ultra centrifuges. And we do this because BioVision believes in flexibility and, and affordability. And we want to make sure that any uh, customer and any researcher can use our kits. So they don't need any special equipment. We also have uh, kits that allow the isolation of proteins from specifically from the membrane for fractions. So here we have K268, which is the membrane extraction, protein extraction kit. It's designed to purify all membrane bound proteins, whether from the plasma membrane itself or from the membranes of organelles such as the endoplasmic reticulum or the Golgi. Uh, within this kit, there is a protocol that specifically isolates the plasma membrane proteins from the other organelle associated proteins if the customer is only interested in membrane bound proteins. Uh, the case 295 is a related kit. This is a cell surface protein isolation kit. Uh, we use a method to label all the cell surface membrane proteins. And then during lysis, after lysis, and during extraction, the, these labeled proteins can be identified and isolated specifically. Uh, one of the most uh, popular organ or organelles that our customers study is the mitochondrion. So the mitochondrion is one of the most important eukaryotic organelles. It generates the energy for the cell in the form of ATP. And this allows the cell to perform most of its biological functions. The mitochondrion also has its own set of proteins, sets of proteins and its own genome. So it's important to isolate the mitochondria for like membrane, uh, bound proteins that are in its outer and inner membrane, and also to isolate the circular genome of the mitochondrial DNA. So we offer the K256. This is the mitochondrial cytosol fractionation kit. It allows you to isolate highly enriched mitochondrial fractions from mammalian cells. K288 is another uh, isolation kit. This is specifically for uh, mammalian cells, and this allows you to isolate using either a reagent method or a downstream homogenization. So the customer has some 
uh, flexibility and some, some wiggle room in using this protocol. And finally, we have K259, which allows the customer to isolate mitochondria from yeast. So this specifically isolates from yeast uh, species, including Cer Cerevisiae and Pastoris. So uh, depending on what organism your customer is working with, they may want to choose K288 or K259. And if you have any other questions about kits, uh, you can also contact us. Uh, another popular organelle that is studied by our customers is the lysosome. So the lysosome is a digestive organelle that not only digests uh, nutrients and other uh, biomolecules uh, within the cell, but it is also often involved in autophagy, which is when the cell basically eats uh, its own components to provide energy during times of stress. So the K235 lysosome Purification kit allows the isolation of intact functional lysosomes for animal cells and tissues. And finally, our customers, many customers uh, enjoy studying nuclear localization or the proteins associated with the nuclear membrane, chromatin, uh, basically histones maybe, uh, DNA polymerases, et cetera, the nucleolar proteins, et cetera. So we provide the K266 kit. Uh, this is one of our most popular products and this allows the separation of the nucleus from the cytosolic fraction of mammalian cells. And the separation is very, very effective. Our nuclear fractions are pretty much 99.9% .9 pure. The isolated nuclei can then be lysed to yield nuclear extract or uh, basically, you can isolate intact nuclei, or you can take the nuclei and burst them open to yield uh, whatever is inside. Uh, earlier, I mentioned that BioVision does provide lysis buffers, which are mostly detergent based. So, BioVision offers prepared lysis buffers. This includes RIPA, which is catalog number 2114 and a cell lysis buffer optimized for caspase activity assays, including our assays, which is our catalog number 1067. These buffers can be used to extract proteins and other biological molecules from cells and tissues. If, however, customers elect to make their own lysis buffers, they will need a detergent. And so we do offer the raw material detergents, including popular options such as tween 20, CHAPS, ASB14, MP40, and so on. Detergents are available as powders or in prepared solution format. And you guys can contact us for bulk quotes if necessary. So during protein extraction to, so for many of our customers, and this is one, some of our more, more popular products, to preserve the target proteins of interest, we provide to customers a variety of protease inhibitor cocktails to prevent the degradation of those proteins prior to the assay, because if your protein's out there, there's nothing to assay. So we want to make sure that the protein stays there. Many of our customers also want to study the activation status of cells. Uh, most of the time, this is in the form of post-transitional modifications, such as phosphorylation on uh, serine, threonine, and tyrosine residues. So in particular, customers who are interested in uh, G protein coupled receptor signaling or receptor tyrosine kinase signaling, or basically uh, any major kind of signaling that involves RAS or MAP kinase, these involve uh, uh, phosphorylation. So to, the, to preserve these phosphorylation events, we provide phosphatase inhibitors uh, cocktails as well. These reagents are available as uh, protease only or phosphatase only, or as you can see, we have highlighted a universal protease and uh, cocktail. We also have protease and phosphatase inhibitor cocktails like K283 and K284. And you can see that they are available as EDTA free and with EDTA, depending on whether you're a customer needs to eliminate EDTA in case they need to reduce disruption of their downstream uh, assay performance. So if your customer wants to purify the proteins in bulk, uh, we talked about how some compensators want to, want to manipulate the protein targets for mutation 
We're sending out fusion products. And at some point, those same customers might actually want to purify these proteins. So BioVision offers a diverse catalog of protein purification resins to allow affinity purification of their desired protein. So for example, the 6565 streptavidin sepro speeds can be used to purify biotin labeled proteins. Uh, you also see thrombin sepro speeds. These are actually used for both affinity binding and also to cleave uh, specifically cleave uh, certain tags off proteins during the, during the um, purification process. Uh, antibodies are of course proteins and many of our customers use antibodies to study proteins or they need to purify their own antibodies. So we want to offer to you uh, our protein A, protein G, and protein L products, which are all very, very popular, uh, dependent on what kind of isotype the uh, antibody of choice is or what kind of animal they're, they're using uh, to isolate from, et, et cetera. Uh, these proteins, A, G, and L, they are special proteins that have a very high affinity for antibodies, uh, whether it's the FC portion or the light chain or heavy chain. So these are therefore useful in the purification of target specific antibodies and in immunoprecipitation uh, style experiments. So our protein A, G and L products are available as free protein. So your customer can conjugate these to their own beads or use them as free protein uh, as basically like ELISA standards or other standards or they're conjugated to Alvaros or Sephiroth speeds. You'll also note that we have magnetic beads. So for example, 6507 is our protein A magnetic beads. And a lot of customers use this in concert with our M1501, which is the magnetic separation rack. So these are very uh, useful for quick purification of antibodies or for immunoprecipitation experiments. Uh, before using either BioVisions or their own protein samples and assays and other applications, customers might want to optimize a protein sample through the removal of the actual proteins because the uh, analyte is a small molecule and you don't want the proteins to interfere with your assay. Uh, to concentrate or dilute the sample to achieve the proper working protein concentration for that assay or reformulating the sample through buffer exchange. So to do this, to accommodate these needs, BioVision offers support tools to concentrate, deprotonate, and dialyze biological samples. These tools come in a variety of capacities and molecular weight cutoffs to provide maximum flexibility for the customers. So you see a lot of our products are in the diet easy line. Uh, you see 10 mils, three mils, 250 microliters, and we even have a 96 well format. And you can see different uh, molecular weight cutoffs from three 3.5 kilodalton to 12 to 14, all the way up to 25 kilodalton. So depending on the size of the protein that your customer is interested in, we provide maximum flexibility through our products to uh, accommodate their needs. The most popular deprotonation tool by far is our 1997 10KD spin column. So they, customers can use this for deprotonation or for concentrating their protein of choice, uh, getting rid of the smallest proteins, et cetera. We also offer K808 and K823 deprotonizing sample prep kits, uh, depending on the preferred method of the customer, either that you're using the PCA method or the TCA method. Uh, these are different acids uh, in order to depro deprotonize the sample. And our, again, our diazy dialyzer products are very flexible for all these applications. Uh, you might see a couple of kits uh, 7923 and K6573. Both of these are based off of Sivacron Blue. This is a dye that is used to bind many different types of proteins, including albumin. So this is very useful for uh, dye ligand affinity purification or depletion of albumin from samples prior to running your, ass your assay. Uh, finally, the customer will need to basically measure the protein concentration of their sample to ensure optimal conditions for their assay or, app or application. So we have very quick and simple, easy to use kits that measure the total protein content in the sample, as well as the degree of modification of the proteins within the sample. 
So K813 and K814 use the popular BCA method to quantify protein content. If your customer has, uh, has modified proteins or are studying like a different uh, physiological phenomenon, uh, we have K811, which allows the quantitation of biotinylation within a sample, for example, after they use one of our biotin labeling kits on their antibody or protein, they might want to see the extent of biotinylation. Or we also have K830, which measures the total carbonyl content in the protein sample. And carbonylation, carbonylation happens as a result of protein oxidation. So when there is protein uh, reactive oxygen species due to oxidative stress, uh, because they're hungry or there has been a inflammatory response or whatever, uh, car proteins can actually develop carbonylation and this kit allows the measurement of that, basically an extent of how much protein is being oxidized as a result of the, the ROS species. And this is important for studying multiple physiological processes, including uh, autoimmunity. So at this point, we've reached the end of our webinar on BioVision's protein and protein adjacent products. Uh, if you're interested in our expansive catalog, you are welcome to visit our website, biovision.com. I've also listed here, uh, biovision.com slash marketing dash downloads. This is where you can download our flyers and sign up for, on our mailing list to receive a download of our, our large brochures. So the provided link does get you to these marketing downloads and we do update them periodically, but the best way to determine if a product is still available is to contact us directly. But uh, for you and your customers, the product literature is informative as a starting point for, for you. Okay. Uh, we've reached the end. Uh, we welcome any and all queries, whether for technical support, product information or quotes. Our general manager is Dr. Venkat Bat. Uh, he also works with bulk quotes. And if you are interested in biochemicals, uh, you can contact myself or Venkat. Uh, Shamali Mandel is our director of product management. Uh, she also uh, oversees a lot of the assay kit development. So if you have assay kit uh, questions, you can contact Shamali. Uh, I am, of course, the product manager for the, our antibodies and proteins catalog. Uh, you can contact us at the, the email addresses you see here. Nick Hill is our product manager for Eliza Kits, and he also does sales. So if you need quotes, uh, myself, Nick Hill, or Venkat will be happy to help you. Uh, Rena is our new technical support scientist. And Vikram is our new senior marketing manager. If you have any questions, please feel free always to reach out to us. Uh, if you have orders, uh, you'll probably have seen a lot of my bulk quote emails. Uh, always go through orders at biovision.com. If you need a quote, please contact me directly or go to quote at biovision.com just in case I'm out of the office because it will come to one of us and one of us will be happy to get you your quote as soon as possible. And finally, if you have any technical support questions, please let us know at tech at biovision.com. Uh, I'm happy to take questions at this time. Uh, please type in the chat and let me know uh, what I can do for you. Okay. So I'll wait a few minutes for you to collect your thoughts. Uh, hopefully you saw my chat and you were able to uh, listen to the webinar with no audio or technical difficulties, but please definitely type in the chat if you have questions. Thank you very much. If you feel the need to take a screenshot of the slide or uh, mo the three emails on the bottom are always available on the sidebar of all of our products on biovision.com. 
Otherwise, you can take a screenshot. I'll switch to the next slide in a moment. Okay, well, thank you very much for your attention. I, I guess I was abundantly clear and I am happy that you were able to join me for tonight's webinar. Our next webinar, you will see me again in September on uh, specifically September 29th. I think that's also Wednesday. Uh, or in your case, if you're on the other side of the international dateline, it would be Thursday. Uh, because I am the manager for proteins and antibodies, our next webinar will be targeting your needs, the applications of BioVision's various antibody products. So thank you again for joining me for our webinar on proteins and protein adjacent products. And I look forward to seeing you next time. If you have any questions, again, please feel free to contact us at any time. Uh, I'll wait a few more minutes in case anybody has questions to type into the chat. I see uh, one of you has your hand raised. Is there a, is there a question? Oh. That would not be a question. Okay. Well, thank you very much for all your time. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing at this time. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next month, or actually two months from now, lost track of time. Have a wonderful rest of your day, uh, wherever you are on the planet, and take care, stay safe, stay healthy, be well.